Hi, folks. So, um, Jack being here again today. Uh, so, we're going to determine the molecular weight problem today. Um, now, notice that the question reads, how to determine molar mass. Uh, you may hear your professor um, mention it as molar mass, but you may also hear him or her mention molecular weight. Uh, just be aware that these two things mean the same thing, folks. Um, so don't don't get confused there. So we're always going to look at how to tackle a problem, uh, how to determine molar mass of a substance. In this particular case, we're looking at CCO4, uh, also known as carbon tetrachloride. Um, so a little nomenclature uh, for you here, since they're both nonmetals, we don't use any Roman numerals to discuss to describe the oxidation state of carbon, so no need for, for any of that. So you just use the uh, prefixes. Um, in this particular case, since it's four, it's tetra. So that aside, uh, carbon tetrachloride is, uh, so we could describe it as a, a molecule with a carbon in the center surrounded by four chlorines. Now, this doesn't do it justice. It's, um, it's not a flat molecule. It's uh, the geometry is a tetrahedron, but we're not going to get into that right now. We're going to get that get into that later on uh, in a different series. So let's let's tackle the problem. Okay. So, as you might have guessed, we do need the atomic masses of each element involved. In this particular case, chlorine um, has a atomic mass of 35.453. As you can see here, we get that from the periodic table. Since there's four of them, now make sure that's important you see that, um, there's four of them, you'll need to factor that in here. And since there's only one carbon, that's why we're only multiplying that times one. So, once we do the math here, 35.453 times 4 gives us 141.81 and obviously 12.011 times 1 is the same number. So we end up with a grand total of, um, I can back it up here for a second, 153.82. So, um, what does that number mean to us? Well, that's that's our molecular weight for this particular substance. So, molecular weight, oops, of carbon tetrachloride is 153.82 grams. Now, bear in mind, folks, that um, this is molecular weight, so your professor will most likely want this value reported as grams per mole. So, in a previous video, we discussed about we discussed the three-way relationship between mass, mole, and Avogadro's number. So, in this particular case, we're looking at the molar mass of a molecule, and that is most accurately represented as the mass per one mole of substance and this, and this substance is carbon tetrachloride so just be aware that um, it is probably most appropriate to report it as grams per one mole there's an understood one here we just don't write it so this is the answer here let's back let's backtrack so carbon tetrachloride one carbon four chlorines here's chlorine the atomic mass there's a four, and there's carbon. So we get the corresponding masses. We add them up, and that is our molecular weight or molar mass of carbon tetrachloride. So, uh, folks, I hope this was helpful. Uh, just please don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel by clicking down there. Uh, I'll also have some organic chemistry videos coming up soon, so uh, please tell your friends, anybody taking organic chemistry, uh, 
that there'll be some videos on my channel. Anyway, thanks and good luck.